I'm Dr. Dylan Lloyden. I'm a regional medical director for Cascade Training. And uh, I want to just give you a little update on the question of pupils for the head exam. This comes up all the time, and I think there's a lot of confusion. I always hear people telling me about the pupils, which is, of course, we, we do care about the pupils. But remember, if you have a blown pupil, then you have an intracranial catastrophe, and you're going to have an altered level of consciousness. So it's very helpful if the patient has a GCS of three or has a, or anyway a low GCS, less than eight, usually if they have uh, asymmetrical pupils. But if the patient is awake and alert and talking to you, the pupillary uh, symmetry and responsiveness is probably a little bit less important. So just something to focus on when you're doing your head exam.